Thank you very much, and I'm very happy to be joined by a double lift, a happy man. Congratulations. Yes, I'm very happy. Thanks, Alex. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about the day in general, because it seems like it ended the way it should have started. How do you kind of reflect on the day and starting then that throw, sadly, but your pentakill and all the emotions and then getting here and qualifying? Um, well, getting here and qualifying, I think... We qualified only because last year TSM won. I mean, for the semifinal, sorry. Oh, for, for <laughs> yeah, sorry. Yeah, playing in semis is awesome. Actually, in my, in my opinion, coming into this tournament, we were complete garbage, and I was like, we should, we should be able to make it out of groups just like on paper. But man, like we were really bad at the time. And at, over the course of the time that we've been here, which has like been a day and a half or two days, I've actually seen like really big improvement. For example, the first game, which we like threw horrendously, we were like ten and one. We threw. Um, versus like the last game where we stomp a game really clean. These games have like really improved us a lot throughout like our journey, which is we're in the losers bracket and our backs are to the wall. They were one game away from losing against Origin, and then um, towards the end, I feel like we played, I don't know, kind of like up to how our roster should have played from six or three months ago. I feel like something has clicked. Um, how do you say this will help you going forward? Because this means you're the second seed in the semifinal, so you go up against. Whoever is the best out of SKT, QG, CLG, and Fnatic, how do you think that's going to end up? Uh, how I hope it's going to end up is TSM versus CLG, baby. But <laughs> how I think it's going to end up is us versus SKT, which is unlucky. I, I'm praying for an upset so we play, you know, QG or Fnatic or CLG. SKT, though? They're definitely the favorites. They're, they're definitely the favorites in the second group. Yeah, they don't look as strong as they did, of course, right when they won the World Championship. You guys are on the up and up. How high can you go? You got a pentakill in the first game of the tournament, so... Uh, that felt pretty good, and the defeat screen felt pretty bad afterwards. I don't really think about it too much, um, but yeah, it was nice. I, I came off with pretty good momentum, and I played Ezreal a ton this tournament, which uh, I think maybe later it'll be banned against me. Yeah, why the high prioritization on it? I don't know, I just... I just like playing Ezreal, he's a really good champ right now on this patch, and I, I always try to play like uh, my champions to the fullest, and so when I play Ezreal, I always feel like, oh man, there's so much more I can improve on, so I just played so many games on him and got really good, and I think my team is just really good at supporting me on Ez, like, when I go in for poke, Bjergsen's always right there to follow up, and I don't know, my team just sets up really well for me on Ezreal. I had really high confidence coming into this tournament if I just got my comfort champs, and I think it's working out. Yeah, I think you've grown phenomenally throughout the day. Final question on Sunday in the semifinal. That means that you'll be in the big arena, thousands of people watching. What does that do to double lift? Um, nothing. Hopefully another pentakill, though. All right, we will see. Well, thank you very much. Congratulations, double lift. And now for uh, wrapping up the day, back to our guys at the desk. Thank you very much, Shox. Congratulations.